today we are looking at past modal verbs like could have, should have, would have. These verbs are all used to talk about things that didn't really happen in the past. In sentences, we use these verbs with have and the past participle. So they look like this. Could have been. Could plus have plus the past participle form of a verb. Here are some examples. Julia, how was your day? Mm, my day could have been better. First, I should have woken up earlier. I would have woken up on time, except I was out at a party last night and I got home really late. I should have left the party before 3 a.m. Anyway, I was already late and I was rushing and I could have been more careful. I really should have been more careful, but because I was rushing to work, I left my coffee home and I fell asleep at my desk. When we use these modal verbs, should have, could have, would have, we often make contractions of them. So, could have becomes could have, should have becomes should have, and would have becomes would have. So let's read the sentences again with the contractions. My day could have been better. I should have woken up earlier. I would have woken up on time. I should have left the party before 3 a.m. I could have been more careful. I really should have been more careful. These contractions would have, could have, should have sound like could of, should of, would of. But are they? Is that what we're saying? No. No. They only sound like could of, could of, should of, would of. It's confusing. I know. We are, but we are really saying, don't ever write this or say this. <laughs> We are really saying could, would, or should plus have plus the past participle of a verb like been, I would have been, I could have been, I should have woken, I would have bought those shoes if they weren't so expensive. And that's it for now. This was contractions video number five. See you next time.